still trying to find that right combination of Hornets that can uh, get the job done here this season. Coming off their best point total against them all last weekend, but still looking for that first win as we are underway from the Donald L. Tucker Civic Center and right away. Hornets coming right back, looking for a shot from Whitney Dunn from beyond the arc. Pachetti dials it up again. Two knockdown threes just like that for number four. Comes away with the ball, and Florida State will work back up tempo. Here's Tania Latson. And she gets a nice contested layup. The 2023 ACC Rookie of the Year. But just not a lot of accuracy right now from Alabama State. Pachetti slicing and dicing into the paint as Timpson gets around the hands of Harris. Seconds left on the shot clock for the Hornets. Pajetti again draws all that defense. State has been able to get out and run in transition. There we see KK Timpson with the big block on the defensive end for Florida State. A big open lane for Sanders to go through and Timpson shows you how it's done. Taking it the length of the floor right at the rim and then has to finish with some body contact. Hornets speeding things up. Summer Hicks, nice shot on the floater. So Summer Hicks. A couple, a couple of freshmen gonna have to play some big minutes for the Hornets here in the post. Hicks keeping that ball inbounds. However, turnover again, Bajetti on the mark. And back in the scoring column with another basket. Yeah, she's done a tremendous job there, taking the Hornets to three NCAA tournaments, uh, WNIT berth as well, three SWAC regular season titles. Just an outstanding job and a well-deserved. Frida Freeman Jackson has had to go with a very young group out there. She's got three freshmen on the floor right now. Oh, what a pass by Ladson down low right wow. to Timpson. One-two combination. Put that out there. We haven't talked about that, but played basically all power five teams have only had one home game. So they are battle tested. Big three from April Hooks. Working the ball around and now slowing the pace, staying composed. Good pass inside as Hall able to put this one in. Someone's trying to get to 30 points before this first quarter ends. Amaria well, Gordon's been pretty silent, but gets a big bucket driving away with the contact. I for the first quarter was 34 points in the first quarter against Tennessee. In fact, only came into the game with 13 turnovers on the season, so. Rare you see number three mishandle the ball. Viegas, not uncommon. She will knock down a big time three and does so at the buzzer. 2022 U17 World Championships and then also in the 2023 FIBA European Championships. As Gordon knocks down another bucket for the Noles. Another, and that another pure shooter. Need to gut out a couple games. You're definitely going to need some reliable three pointers and three point shooters as you saw a block from Alexis Tucker. Mentioned 12 of their first 13 games on the road. A lot of those against some Power 5 teams. Even when they get to conference play, they're going to start their first two team, first two games on the road. Blocked by Viegas slightly. And you can see the scrappiness and the will to get the ball and fight for her team. Tucker from top of the key. Swish. 30 point lead for the Seminoles now. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Nice job by Sarah Bajetti there to draw the defense to her. And then the little nearly 33% from beyond the three-point line for the Knowles this season. One of the newcomers for Florida State, a grad transfer from UC Santa Barbara, finding her role with Florida State. He's a key factor in that game down the stretch. Real statement win for Florida State early in the year. Just the second game. Sakaya White working hard off a couple of missed shots and gets the putback bucket. One there for Florida State, just gets herself in good position, finishes through the contact. A little bit undersized at just 6-1, but she plays a lot bigger than that, Trevor. Again, last season. Carthers outside to Sanders, back to the top to Dunn. She'll take a three, nails it. Nice. Good stroke, step back away from Bonner. And look at Amaya Bonner, oh, can't finish it, but nifty move from Bonner, the transfer from Cal. Yeah, really smooth operation right there, but not able to get it down. Shot up by Sanders, who was all alone. Big time competition that should have helped prepare Florida State for a grueling ACC schedule coming up. Certainly think about some of those teams in the ACC. 
NC State really comes to mind of what Wes Moore has created with the Wolfpack over a numerous amount of years. Seminoles, though, winds it, gets to the top of those standings once again. Bouncing three-pointer by Snoop Turnage. Shot clock winding down here. Alabama State got to get a look. Turnage in the way of Harris. She'll collect the rebound. Watson quickly looking for her teammate down at the lower levels and Snoop Turnage again. Take another look here at the threes from Turnage. Tania Latson, the beneficiary of that pass. Seminoles already with 50 points. Make it 52 with Latson's dose. Tied a quarter high in the first quarter with their 34 points. Good bucket by Ackridge. Freshman Ackridge now with five points to lead the way. Three from Latson erases that positive moment for the Hornets. Just so difficult for the Hornets to try and keep this pace. And now Latson showing the effort on the defensive end, pokes this one away, and she'll get another easy two. It is a runaway for Florida State. Gordon. A nice little cut and shuffle, but Bajetti's wide open from beyond three, and she knocks it down. 60 points for the Seminoles. As Florida State inbounds and is ready to rock and roll, and our snowman is also in the basketball spirit. He's ready to well. rock and roll. Saying happy holidays. And, and, so, so, are is, and so is Alexis Tucker. It certainly is for the Seminoles tonight. Good effort by Whitney Dunn. But not enough to drop. Gets double teamed, does Ladson, but finds Gordon. Florida State has numbers. Finds the pass inside. Now inside out to Tucker, and she knocks it down, buries it. Gordon instead recognized the Tucker wide open, and she could kick it out for the open three. Yeah, they had the numbers in their favor, and you had a wide open Tucker. Why not take a shot? There's Harris. Their conference play. Still have Miami left in terms of non conference on the road down in Coral Gables. But she has certainly been the bright spot here, one of the bright spot players that has stepped up. Back to Tucker for another three. And just like in the first half from Bajetti, Tucker. See what she's done across her career, Texas Tech. You see Santa Barbara, and she just continues to pour things on right now. Jog it up the court. Gordon with the pick set by Simpson, blocked by Harris. Nice defensive play there by Cordasia Harris. Whitney Dunn, who's originally from Chicago, in fact, went to Loyola University of Chicago. And a big block by Timpson. No chance for Ashley Gray. KK Timpson coming over in help side. Rise up fast and got to work hard if you want to get it around Timpson. Hard pass from Tucker trying to get it to Gordon. It bounces off the Florida State guard. Good spin by Sanders, charges through the paint. And that gets a lot of claps from the visitors' bench. Leads the team in assists as well, does a nice job distributing the ball nobody the has a, Yeah, Nobody has a positive assist to turnover ratio, but she has it and an easy, what would have been an easy two for Tucker. Doesn't want their confidence to get buried because they understand it's going to be a competitive conference play with the swag. Good pass by Harris, but a rejection by Gordon. You Oklahoma. Auburn to Paul. Double digit lead. Hicks kicks it out. Carthers again. Still can't get it between the rim. Sakaya White with the takedown. Excellent effort indeed. Gordon right back the other way. Beautiful floater with traffic in her face. Bergetti wants to make the most of her last season here in Tallahassee. Redshirt senior. Good three from beyond the arc. Ackridge. Turnover here from Christian Jackson. Tried to find Hall, but too many Seminoles in her way. Vegas, sweet stroke from beyond. But Snoop Turnage showing the length of the arm to gather the rebound, puts it right back for two. Compared to 50% for Alabama State. And the crowd coming into play against Hall. They manipulated what they thought the shot clock or the game clock was. Ladson tries to go up and haul. You know what? Says, I'm going to come right back with a block, denying Ladson more points. And this shot for Alabama State has a little bit more of the depth. Comes through for 
Florida State. Timpson with the bucket, certainly living up to those monikers. Harris receives the inbound. Again, Timpson just staying strong, not getting out of place. Morrow in the corner decided better to give it up than take the shot. But Jetty, that drive, nice bounce pass to Timpson, but mishandles it. Freeman Jackson's squad is to finish at the rim. A lot of chances tonight. Put back bucket for Timpson. This has been her quarter right now. As Sanders, Hall. And then a steal from KK Timpson on the defensive end, swatting it away. Hall stands at 6-5, but Timpson's the one working hard and gets another bucket for her efforts. Timpson at 6-2. Hall, there's a good feed from Ackridge. That time oh. Timpson was a little greedy, went for the steal. Rather than just with a brute, more brute force. Full court press, how about Harris? Sticking to her chest and hands like Spider-Man. Gets the ball and gets a put back bucket. With the Seminoles, but this is an encouraging sign, not giving up, and how about the sticky hands of Harris and the effort. For Harris. Only the second basket for Harris this evening. Tucker, excellent oh, job working underneath the there. arms of Tavares. Dunn has not had the follow-up game she would have liked coming off to Paul. But again, Harris. another bucket in for Cordesia Harris. The Jetty. Good handle, but not a good finish. He's lost the handle, maybe it looked like right at the didn't quite get it all the way to the rim. Good defense again by the Hornets. Dunn with another drive. Gives it off to Harris. And Harris is heating up. Slowly get her way back into the game, but that will be it for number 20 for Asia Harris as Anaja Hall takes over. Knockdown three from Viegas from deep. You see the depth for Florida State here as they're trying to get to those triple digits. Bonner out to Turnage, who has a couple threes tonight, and there's number 100 on the stat sheet and the point total for the Seminoles. Turnage, Alabama State will go back to the line. And seven rebounds, she might be on her way to a double-double. Bucket for Jackson. Four players that have all connected on multiple threes. When you look at it, Snoop Turnage is connected on three. Sarah Bajetti, three for four. How about Bonner <laughs> adding at least one? Bonner joining the club. Ball back in as Latson comes back into the game. Rykoff wants at least one of their starters on the floor at all times, and Viegas. For the freshman from Malaga, Spain. All-time scoring record for Florida State is 114 points. It's over. Less than a minute to go. Another ball shot missed. Ackridge with it, but here comes Ladson. Easy layup underneath. Now it's 110 points. Shot from beyond is Hamilton for long two. But an absolutely dominating performance for the Seminoles to round out and finish conference play. Seminoles get their ninth win of the season, a final of 110 to 45.